South Queensland crusher. And here comes out by Butterfield. He'll be in for a big game tonight. And what a lineup the Knights have. Robbie O'Davis and Darren Albert, Rick Rogan, Owen Craigie, Jason Hutchinson so far this season. Here come the Eels, you can tell by the booze of the big crowd in here at Marathon. In at fullback, Steve Collins, the wingers of Ian Heron and Paul Carriage. Smith, out the back it goes. Simon gets it away. Johnston back on the inside, McCracken. And have a look at who it was covering tackle there. Mark Randall, the most underrated player in the game today. Beautiful tackle there from Randall. Smith holds it up. What a great pass to Divic. Divic over the top. Parramatta cut score. Take it over the sideline. Darren Albert, great cover tackle. Oh, beautiful football from, from Parramatta. We know how good their ball players are. Again, it was Smith and also Dean Pay involved. That's a beautiful pass there. Dimmick, the overhead. They had the numbers out here. Darren Elbert caught out of position. But the fullback just put in a touch there. Steve Collins, he straight in the field of play. And that's bad play there from the fullback for Parramatta. Oh, plenty of time for Robbie O'Davis. Ambles to the ball. Now looks to use the acceleration. But Dean Pay, the skipper for the Eels, was there. Glanville. This is Gidley. Gidley, the stand-in 5'8", steps off the right foot. Albert was on his inside. Yes, and it was John Simon that came across to put the tackle down. That's a tremendous chase there from John Simon. They go wide now, the Knights. And they've got numbers. Cut out pass. Adam Muir. Muir. Adam Muir cut down. Three metres out. Good play the ball now needed. And there's a penalty. That might be a sin bin too. Jimmy Dimmick caught for hanging on the leg of Muir, trying to get to his feet. And that's a second penalty for holding down. Jimmy Dimming at fourth there. Great cover defence there from John Simon to cut off Gidley. And here's the play again. Showing the ball on the outside. Look at Dimmick. He's made it his mission so far in this game. Muir trying to struggle to his feet. And there it is there, the hand on the leg. And that's a penalty. And rightfully so. They decided to take the tap. Venable. The skipper, Butterfield. Sloppy play the ball. This is Billy Peden. Jackson goes into dummy half. Denneville. Gidley. Back on the inside. Adam Muir. The crowd goes up. And Muir, well, strolls over the line here. Newcastle are red hot. Well, he's been threatening on the left hand side of that field. That's a beautiful play there from Muir. It was Dimmick who missed the tackle. And he just straightened up on the inside. Gidley again, dangerous the football. Great play there from Newcastle to get the first try. Here's Denneville with a long ball out to Gidley again. He feigns on the outside. And there's the straight runner now. He skips out of that tackle from Dimmick and just strolls over. That's a great try and he's been threatening for a while. Muir opens the account for Newcastle. Well, both teams have turned up ready to play. Gidley did well here. Held the ball up, showed it on the outside, turned it back on the inside, and Adam Muir, well, he accepted it like a Christmas present. Well, hasn't he been playing well so far this season? Tremendous career tries, 25 for Muir. Physical block, and I can tell you, they've bought their football boots, Newcastle. They see this as a crucial game, and in front of their home crowd, they're certainly uh, putting their best foot forward. Last tackle now for the Knights. They go to Denneville. Has Gidley on the inside. The little trick pick for Denneville. He tripped again. He didn't have to. He had Gidley unmarked on the inside. I think he bombed it. Well, it was just a case of going to extremes there. You had the opportunity of making it easy for yourself, turning the ball inside on to Gidley, but chipping twice. There was no need for that. It was just trying to do it too hard. It was a beautiful little chip over the top. That's great play from Denevore. And he had the inside running. Can't really see it there on the vision, but he did have him there and he scored right under the post. And there's Carriage cleaning up for Parramatta. I think that's the first thing you talked to them about. Yeah, it's, I've got to say, Block, uh, Aaron Rape is just walking past me now. It's very warm out there and the players certainly struggling with the heat. But I've got to say, Newcastle a lot more enthusiastic. Oh, Davis, a jack in the box. Now, Gidley. Gidley, the Craigie. Owen Craigie looks on the inside. Gets it to Jason Moody, who's backslammed. 
And there's going to be a penalty here. Well, he'll be called out. Carriage for going on with the tackle there. He had no right to do that to Moody. He's swinging onto the ground. Moody ripped one straight into his chin. <laughs> and there's the penalty. They can't afford to keep giving away penalties, Parramatta. That's a cheap penalty one-on-one. -on -one. Craigie turns the ball back inside. And have a look at this. Here it is. Wooshka. <laughs> well, he didn't miss either, did he? So Paul Carriage has been called up, the former Bronco and then a steal. The only negative about taking a shot so far out, you've got to kick them dead. You've got to be certain of that. There's a good front-on tackle there. Muir again involved. This time that was on Troy Campbell. He gets straight back up. The Eels have split him open. Bill, Bill, the Hail Mary pass back to Smith went nowhere. Speak about Hail Mary passes, there was another one, but this time from Wayne Richards. Well, it was a good break there. There's another penalty for holding down. It was a good break there again. again. Lee Jackson. Look at Butterfield. Up into it. Butterfield, eight metres out. Jackson. Danable. Richards. Steps off the left foot. Jackson again. Denneville, set play for Adam Muir looking for try number two. Muir still going. One meter out. Couple of tackles left. Gidley. Denneville, they've got numbers. Craigie. That was good play there from Courage to come in and make the tackle. They had the numbers on the on the left hand side. Peden. Billy Peden gets the pass away to Muir. Muir. Out the back. They keep it alive. Albert. Albert. Still eight metres out. Last tackle. They've got to get a result out of this kick. The kick by Gidley. Steve Collins is there. And they do. And got out of his own in goal. Great Ooh. work by Collins. A little bit of a hint of a high tackle there from Robbie O'Davis. Collins gets to his feet now. No doubt it was a reflex action with Collins trying to step out of his own in goal and... You're probably right, Blocker. He did get him a little bit high. Yeah, here it is here. They're probably aiming for that post. They would have got the, the little flick off the post there. Yeah, it was a careless arm, but not really anything. What a, a number of errors by Parramatta. Now Adam Muir. He's got that little feign of jink in and away there too. It makes him hard to tackle. A very good ball player we know, Muir, and his involvement in the game so far is outstanding. Deadly. Good ball, Grogan. Grogan into space. Look at Grogan go. Grogan step in. Denavor scores. And penalty, double movement, and Hot rightly shot. so too. Geez, that was unfortunate. Grogan looked on his right hand side. He didn't know that Denavor was on his left. He turned back around. Beautiful pass inside. A great cover defence there from Parramatta to stop the try. There's the look on the right hand side. He looks. There's Denavor. And look at that courage comes in from the right wing to make the tackle spun out put the ball over double movement fair enough he's got a hand on him there carriage and his momentum was stopped and then he's reached out with the ball the Parramatta side go to the fringes a little bit more we know how good the Newcastle Knights defense is Smith loses the ball forward so they've clocked it up again Parramatta and Newcastle are enjoying a wealth of possession Billy Peden got under a high one now Denable. We would have caught his head up here if it had hit him. <laughs> Not a bad one. Here's a handling here. It's 5-1. 5-1 with air. Throws the tail, doesn't it? For the aggression of this uh, Newcastle Knights side. Loose ball. Newcastle still come up with it. Putting the ball through hands at passing. This is Morgan. They take a couple of steps before they get it away. Smith. Oh, the pass wasn't fantastic. That was fortunate, in fact. Well, he'll be blowing up Deluxe at half-time, Brian Smith, I'm sure. They're handing this game. 20 out. Now Dean Payne. Good short ball, plenty of pressure on McCracken. They were on him before he had it. Well, yeah, he would have been better off throwing the, the second man play there. The defence was right on Jared McCracken. A little bit of a hospital pass there from Dean Pay. And good defence there from Newcastle too. They decided to make come in and make the tackle. That's Owen Craigie there. Stands off McCracken. And there's a the loose ball again. The pressure put off Newcastle once. I think they might be happy if they can get in at half time. Only six points behind. That'll give them plenty of confidence. But what they've got to do is not let them score again, this Newcastle side. Gidley, cut out ball. Craigie. Owen Craigie. Craigie. 
place. Here it comes. Speed and strength and back on the inside. Newcastle go across for try number two. What a big effort it's been. And now they lead Parramatta by 10 points to nil. Well, I reckon that's the fifth line break that the Newcastle Knights have made, and it's all been on Parramatta's right-hand defence. Poor defence once again. Owen Craig, he was allowed to slip out of the tackle. They're not closing off on the inside. McCracken beaten there. I know it's Woods. He skips out of that tackle. Just have a look on the inside there. There's no defence coming across. Plenty of players for the Newcastle. Mark Randall, as I already mentioned, underrated. And look at that screen there. No Parramatta player in sight. You've got to cover up after the ball leaves you. That's just laziness by Parramatta. Oh, this is a great try by Newcastle. Craigie running with the ball out in front of him, now up under the arm. Broke through two tackles. He's in great form, this youngster. Back on the inside for Glanville, the former Dragon from Wagga. He's played more first-grade games than any other Newcastle Knight. And he picks up the try, number two. That's McCracken. Dimmick out of dummy half. Always dangerous that every runs with the ball, Jim Dimmick. Carriage. Back for John Simon. Johnston now. Johnston, nowhere to go. Just have a look at the numbers that the Newcastle side put into their defence. Three and four players going into the tackle all the time. Now Simon. Simon goes himself, Collins, Steve Collins gets across under the post. The first try of the afternoon for Parramatta and they strike back and they strike back quickly. Oh, that's a well, sensational hit back there. 12 points to four as you mentioned. John Simon, a very strong player, we all know that. It's the first time that he's really run the football in the first half. He stepped off, the, off his foot. And strength shown there. John Simons, we know how strong he is. A little right foot step here. Look at the strength there. He beats Richards' tackle. The off mode. Good support play there from the fullback, Steve Collins. Too much strength there for Robbie O'Davis. And there's the first try for the Parramatta Eels. Good offload there from John Simon. Dinnevor can't come over and make any difference in the tackle. Robbie O'Davis not strong enough to hold Collins. Well, Steve Collins. He's another player that goes through a lot of work that's unnoticed too. Billy Peden, a lot like Mark Granville. Denevor looking for that gap. Finds it, but Dimmick rides him to the ground on the far side. Last tackle now. Gidley. Gidley the kick up high. Pressure. Brogan is through. Knocks it back. There's a chance for Newcastle. Richards puts it on the toe for Albert. Albert gets there. Try that shouldn't have been scored has. Well, how slow was Parramatta to turn around and chase that football? That is a magnificent try. I think it was Billy Peden in the end that put the kick through. Or Richards, they look a lot alike. We'll see in the replay, but that's magnificent play there. Great reply from Newcastle. There was a nothing kick, really. Grogan tapped it back. Gidley puts it high in the air. Grogan goes up high, taps the football back. Well, just a number of players around the football. There's Mule with the offload. It is Billy Peden. That's a great kick. Great vision there from Billy Peden. And how did he get here? The winger, Albert. Tremendous speed. A foot race against John Simon. And Newcastle back on the board. Well, just great work here by Bill Peden. Gets it. He puts the little kick in. And Darren Albert. An electrician by trade. Well, he's back with Newcastle Knights. What a big... Jackson. Field goal attempt by Johns. Just under, and Collins will take it over the dead ball. Well, a frantic opening 40 minutes. And Matthew Johns, as you can see on screen, down at the moment. And not happy with that thigh heavily strapped. And it happened during the field goal attempt. He's obviously aggravated it further. You see him straight away. He grabbed his, his thigh. It's a right thigh. I'm sure that it would be a hamstring injury. Not an ideal time to take a shot of field goal too when you've got a quick hamstring. But anyway, there's the half-time siren. And last tackle. They work the blind side through Simon. Robbie Davis sits up well for him. Now, O'Davis looking for a way through. He's lost the ball. Well, this is a little bit of luck. 
Good chase by McCracken. And a Davis wanted to go on with it. So too did McCracken, but the penalty has gone against Newcastle. Yeah, obviously trying to slow them down. Butterfield there asking the question of the referee. Quick, Quick tap. tap. There's numbers here for Parramatta. Oh, no. Massive chance. They had a three-man overlap on the left. And John Simon held the ball and went back to the inside. Smith. Smith can't get it down. One metre out. Raper. Didn't yeah. play the ball properly. It's a, it's a pretty tough penalty, that. That's a terrible penalty, that. He's had Newcastle players all over him. He's trying to get up and play the ball quickly. But Great John Simon, he was, he was told to run good. the ball at half-time. He didn't even look on the outside there. They had all sorts of numbers out wide. They would have scored for sure. Darren Albert was screaming his head off. He probably said I was doing what I was told at half-time. John Simon, but just when Parramatta looked like closing the gap, which now stands at 16-6 at the half-time break. And a great, Davis. great take, one Good hand. Skills. Now they bump it up, Butterfield. Butterfield bumps off Ian Heron. Oh, Chook comes in for the big hit. <laughs> comes out second best. Good run from Butterfield. Denevor on the last. Denevor, long searching kick over the shoulder of Carriage. Carriage takes it back on his own 20. That's oh. a good chase. This is an explosive bit of play. Newcastle score again. Parramatta World, they just self-destruct. As Billy Tatum picks up the try. I don't believe it. Parramatta forcing the ball and paying the ultimate price. Well, as we said a little bit earlier, Darren, Al uh, sorry, Billy Peden's work goes unnoticed a lot of times. He led the chase for the Newcastle Knights. The ball was along the ground. Here's Carriage now. He throws the long, looping pass. <laughs> we nearly had to dial Triple O over to court. That Billy Peden right on the football. He chips it through. Poor old Collins couldn't get there. And that is a great try. And didn't the crowd go up when they saw possibly one of their favourite people, Billy Peden, score the try? Well, that's a great effort by Bill Peden. But Peden, he's had a great, he's had a great game. Collins throws the, the, the most unbelievable carriage it was. Unbelievable pass. Brian Smith's fell over next to me. Peden right on the spot. He's a good player, this Peden. Oh, and that looks like it's game, set and match. I think he's let that one go. As soon as he's felt the, the hand on the football, they go up the blind through Raper. Short side, back for Woods. Raper remains a dummy half. Continuing, got an overlap on the far side. Good cover by Newcastle. Raper. Back now for Simon. Simon, nowhere to go. Five metres out. Smith. Back to the inside. Smith. They just wrap him up. Butterfield over the top and yeah, Wayne Richards. An aggressive tackle too. Butterfield knows he has the ability to get the football away. Dimmick. Last tackle. Kick for the outside man. But he's there to wrap it up. Jason Moody. Oh, it's a give me, isn't it? Yeah, if you can recall, Parramatta won their first game against North Sydney in a good game. They lost every game since. And you can tell that their confidence is well and truly down. This Paramount side, even the most gifted players like Jimmy Dimmick, they're struggling to uh, come to terms with this Newcastle side. Denevor. Plenty of people have struggled to come to terms with Leo Denevor this year. Back for Gidley. Gidley inside ball for Adam Muir. Muir has split them wide open. And now Denevor will get another try. Leo Denevor. He started it and he said, I'll finish it. Adam Muir chipped in in between. Adam Muir. Oh, what about the game he's had? Tremendous. There's still heaps of time left on the clock. He'd nearly be the man of the match now. He can go in the dressing room and have a bit of a break. He skips out of another tackle. It's his straight running that's really caused problems. Gidley again involved the inside. He's just got the ability to palm and skip out of tackles. And any number of players supporting Muir now. And Denevor, he really comes from the clouds. Where'd you come from, kid? And he's just unopposed. Easy try there to Newcastle. This could be anything, this score. Newcastle are really putting the cleaners through the eels now. This is Muir, just gallops into space. Finds Denevor backing up. Malcolm really mentioned before the game, it's one of his... Real strengths 
inside. Well wrapped up in the air. Shot ball for Jason Smith. And Smith has coughed it up. Smith complaining to the referee now that he thought there was any number of players in the tackle, three and four. Complaining the ball was stripped out of his hands. Hasn't been a happy day for Smith. The short ball there. Look at all the Knights getting in there and trying to force the football. Back now Jason Bell. Troy Campbell goes to dummy half. Back for John Simon. Morgan back on the inside. It's been intercepted. Newcastle could add further points. Lee Jackson, the hooker, waits for support, couldn't find it. And now the Eels give it to Craigie, and Craigie's back slammed by Denneville. <laughs> that was an unbelievable passage of play there. Lee Jackson scooted through. I thought he was away. Good chase there from Aaron Raper. And a poor pass to finish the play off. Simon. Simon now runs it. Back on the inside. They skip through one tackle. Aaron Raper over the top. It's gone forward. Well, desperate stuff by Newcastle in cover. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the scoreline at the moment, 28 points to six. They're not finished yet. Newcastle, Lover makes a break. And again, Raper involved. Here's the miracle ball. Robbie O'Davis here. Have a look at the cover. Billy Beaton it was. Tremendous chase there from Peden. And how many times have we said it today? There's Mark Lamble leading, leading the field. And Ryan Smith, oh, the sunglasses are off. And the anger as his team turns the ball over yet again. For this final 16 minutes to try and carry over into next week. Well, I think they've just been out muscled today. And uh, that's the unfortunate thing. I mean, it'd be very hard on the coach to try and put a finger on it. There again is Aaron Raper making a bust. And there's no player in anywhere near support there. John Simon receives the ball now. Long flat pass to Dimmick. Dimmick calls in Bell. Bell finds McCracken. McCracken back on the inside for Carriage. Carriage cut down 18 metres out from the line. Dimmick at dummy half. Dimmick goes the blind. Inside ball for Bell. Long ball now. Troy Campbell. Five metres out. Raper. Bell. Cut out ball. Can they get over the line? Back on the inside. And Ian Heron gets over for Parramatta. Their first try in the second half. They need a minor miracle, though, to get back into the game. Well, that's a little bit better there from the Parramatta side. They held the ball for the full set. And the involvement again. To spread the football wide. John Simon involved. Gets the ball out wide. They just ran out of troops to the Newcastle side. That man, Bill, the long pass. There's the money ball. Out to the number 17. That's Stuart Kelly. And there's Ian Heron with Dinavor just trying to make the last desperate attempt to stop the try. That's the one that, that cost them. There's Stuart Kelly, the inside ball there. And Chook gets the try. Ian Heron gets over. And the Parramatta side, they'll win four or five on the trot. Mario, uh, Betty just numbers here. A nice uh, consolation try. Nice long ball there by Bell. Good inside pass by Kelly. Thank you very much, says uh, Ian Heron. But not good. Davis. Denable. Gidley. Good short ball. Conley. Back for Gidley. Knock on there. Play on for Parramatta. There's a chance here. Raper. Kelly. Kelly out the back to nobody. Johnston gets it. Level. 35 metres out now. This Bell. Been, this has been the best 10 minute period for. Long ball for Chuck Heron. Heron comes across, throws it away. And Denevor's there to tidy up. I was just about to say this has been the best 10 minute period for Parramatta. And Chuck throws a wobbly. Cleaned up by Denevor. There's Granville. Doesn't he do it so well? Just gets in the dummy half. He's lost the football there. Loose ball. Should be a penalty for stripping too. There's two, three players in the tackle. Morgan, good ball. Pack on the inside. The pass can't stick. So now the game is degenerating. Oh, great play. What about the No, that wasn't forward. No way. Well, Denevor was off. That was brilliant play. 
the take was spectacular. Romeo Davis. That was brilliance. It was almost worth it to let it go. Here it is here. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Probably was forward. And Denver well, I ball. reckon they should have let that go. That was brilliant. <laughs> Troy Campbell makes another tackle over the top. Denable. Oh. A little kick for Aldrich. Look at the speed of the man. Collins. I'll tell you what, they're lucky. lucky in the end. They're lucky he was alert there, Collins. That was brilliant play there. And isn't it great to see the Newcastle Knights trying to use the pace of Darren Al, but he flew. Good play there from Collins too. That's a great little chip there from Denevor. Look at that, he just outpaces everyone. Where did he come from, Collins? They will get the feed in the loose. There's another try left in him. Oh, maybe, there's 20 seconds to go. Come on, you Knights. Well, the Knights, a chance to finish off this game and really put the knife into the eels. Grogan, back on the inside. Nice to keep the ball alive if he can. Oh, Davis. Little chip kick, rebound. Out the back by Fletcher. Now for Glanville. Glanville, the field goal. What about that for a finish? Oh, no. You've got a score blocker. And Glanville <laughs> has now done it all. Genius. He scored a try. He's kicked a field goal. Well, you've got to come up with points when you get down that end. Mark Glanville thought he'd have a pot shot. Get his name on the scorebook. He's certainly done that. Newcastle in the end. I told you the scoring wasn't finished. 29 points to 10 over Parramatta. They were desperate, and Parramatta, after five rounds of the Optus Cup, still have just the one victory against their name. Coach Brian Smith remains on the sideline. And Newcastle, a very, very convincing victory in front of a great crowd of over 21,000 people. Very hard for Jimmy Newick, but Jimmy, you came here, it was a big game for you guys. Too many mistakes. Yeah, it was, Mario. We come here, you know, try and earn a bit of respect back today. But, uh, you know, like the first 10 minutes, you know, we were G'd up and uh, just the ball didn't bounce our way. And, uh, you know, they just, you know, played um, all over us today. No, no one will question, obviously, you guys came out here looking to win, but your first set of six, you, you dropped the football, and then it continued right through the game. You just got no hope of winning game. Yeah, that's right, Murray. I think we just, you know, sometimes we, we just panic, you know. We don't have to score off every six. We can score the next one, and I think uh, that's uh, where experience should... You know, we've got experienced players there, but it's not showing, you know, you know drop balls, and uh, especially me, that was the first drop ball for me, so... Now my game's uh, a bit lacking too. What's Brian, what did Brian Smith say to you at half time? You know, we just had to get, uh, go out there and try to um, earn the respect. And, uh, you know, just for ourselves and also him. And, you know, today, they were just too good for us today. Well, Jimmy, listen, I wish you all the best, mate. There's a long way to go. Well, thank you, Mario. Adam, you I thought the man of the match. Well done, Adam. You had a huge game. Newcastle played really well. Parramatta made a number of mistakes. But you personally, uh, you seem to be running off giddily off an inside pass and you had a lot of success. Yeah, have we've been um, working like, for the last couple of weeks at training with Matthew being injured and um, been trying to work a bit off Matthew Gidley, but just today, like the crowd, was such a good crowd, it's, and we come out here and they're cheering for us and that, and the like, place like Tony Butterfield, Mark Lanville and Billy Peden going forward, and the backs doing what they're supposed to do, it just makes it a hell of a lot easier for everyone. What about some of this young talent in this back line with players like Gidley and Owen Craigie, and then throw in De Denver, who's the leading point scorer? Yeah, they're all something special, like... A lot of people said at the start of the year when we lost Andrew that like we might struggle until he got back. But um, this, this team's been together for like three and four years, so and it makes it a lot easier if someone slots uh, if someone slots in for Maddie Johns because everyone just knows everyone so well now, and it just makes it a lot easier. Manly are undefeated on ten points. You hold second spot now, so certainly Newcastle enjoying a great season. Yeah, we've got a great season so far, but the last two years we've got to be very careful. I think. Um, when we, made, when we um, got beat by me in the semi-finals, we won nine straight. And then last year, I think we won seven straight. And then we fell in a hole towards the end of the year. So we've just got to concentrate match by match. We've got a very hard game against um, West next week. They got, um, I think they got beat by Balmain today. So that's going to be even harder down there Friday night. So we'll just take a game at every game as it comes. Mate, you've had a great game today. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much, Mario. Thank you. There he is, mate. The, the player of the match, I thought, Adam Muir. Well done, Mario Fettig there with Adam Muir, who certainly had a... performance. Yeah, I'm delighted with the score level, uh, although I don't think we should have conceded um, 10 points against them. Our second half game intensity dropped off dramatically and uh, we started to play a little bit to the scoreboard instead of really 
repeating what we've been doing the first half. It's just a lack of mental toughness when it really counts. So improvements for next week then is just maybe to play for the full 80 minutes? Well, we've got to do. I mean, you know, I mean, we, we were um, in, a, in a very good position as far as the scorebook was con concerned, but we really didn't consolidate it. And, and, and the, as you know, the game intensity fell away in the second half. We came up with a lot of errors. Had we started the game playing in, in that style, we would have, you know, we would have probably lost the game. Your back row are outstanding today and all getting a try. And in fact, your skills coach must be happy with what Mark Glanville did right at the end of the game. Yeah, he might be. I'm not all that happy about it. Yeah, uh, Steve Dunsford uh, is uh, he's doing very well as far as our skills level is concerned. Uh, we never really got the backs moving this afternoon. Uh, we finished them off when we had good field positions. Adam Muir, of course, uh, was was uh, dominant in that, that area. But once again, Leo, Leo Denev has showed his uh, ability and, and support, um, supporting a lot of things and picking a try up. You've obviously got some big names returning in the next few weeks. Selection problems, uh, how are you going to solve that? Well, it's an headache, Phil, that I, I, I'm relishing looking forward to. You know, we just need com uh, competition for places, and uh, while ever that's there, I don't mind the headaches. Thanks very much, Malcolm. Back to you, Eric. Brian, a disappointing loss of Parramatta. What went wrong today? Mate, I don't think any uh, football team can turn over the amount of possession we did today. Some of it in very good attacking uh, opportunities, too, after half breaks or breaks. But uh, you can't turn over that much football and expect your, your defence to hold up against a, a team with as many attacking options as, uh, as the Knights have. We paid the price for that. Do you think confidence might be a problem now within the side after a few losses? Oh, it always is, mate. I think with anybody, uh, any team, my own confidence is a bit like that at the moment as well. It just it goes with the territory. You said that you wanted some tough games to see to show your side what they're really made of, but I suppose you want to come out with them winning. You don't get much tougher than coming to Newcastle and playing against a side as well as Newcastle do, did today, do you? That's for sure, uh, Clarky, and we we certainly need more of them, mate. We, uh, we you know we want we want tough games. We need to flush out what all our problems are. You know, I've had a few shots at uh, at building some football clubs. I know what's got to be done. It's not very nice, but it's got to be done here again. And it doesn't get much easier next week, does it, against Manly? I don't think it will be. No. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thanks for